Welcome to episode 2. Please don't skip the ads or mas okay if you click nyo siya then i-close lang yung browser after it pops open or i-close yung website ng ad. Thank you. Let's start. What is the approximate percentage of the edible portion of a bony fish in relation to its whole weight? A. 10%. B. 25%. C. 60%. D. 90%. What is the approximate percentage of the edible portion of a bony fish in relation to its whole weight? 60%. The approximate percentage of the edible portion of a bony fish in relation to its whole weight is 60%. What are the main components of fish muscle? A. Myotomt and myokomata. B. Collagen and lipids. C. Proteins and vitamins. D. Flesh and fat. What are the main components of fish muscle? A. Myotomts and myokomata. Myotomts and myokomata are the main components of fish muscle. Which type of tissue connects the layers of muscle cells in fish? A. Myotomts. B. Collagen. C. Myokomata. D. Lipids. Which type of tissue connects the layers of muscle cells in fish? C. Myokomata. Myokomata connects the layers of muscle cells in fish. Which portion of the fish body is fat predominantly found? A. Head. B. Tail. C. Lateral portion. D. Dorsal region. Which portion of the fish body is fat predominantly found? C. Lateral portion. Fat is predominantly found in the lateral portion of the fish body. What is the primary function of the dark muscle in fish? A. Continuous motion. B. Sprinting movements. C. Protecting against predators. D. Absorbing nutrients. What is the primary function of the dark muscle in fish? A. Continuous motion. The primary function of the dark muscle in fish is for continuous motion. What are the two main types of fatty acids found in fish lipids? A. Saturated and monounsaturated. B. Omega-3 and omega-6. C. Polyunsaturated and trans fats. D. Long chain and short chain. What are the two main types of fatty acids found in fish lipids? B. Omega-3 and Omega-6. Omega-3 and Omega-6 are the two main types of fatty acids found in fish lipids. What are the two Omega-3 fatty acids found in fish fat? A. EPA and DHA. B. Oleic acid and linoleic acid. C. Stearic acid and palmitic acid. D. Arachidonic acid and linolenic acid. What are the two omega-3 fatty acids found in fish fat? A. EPA and DHA. EPA and DHA are the two omega-3 fatty acids found in fish fat. What is the primary benefit of omega-3 fatty acids found in fish oils? A. Decrease in blood circulatory diseases. B. Increase in serum total cholesterol levels. C. Increase in saturated fats in the body. D. Decrease in high-density lipoprotein cholesterol. What is the primary benefit of omega-3 fatty acids found in fish oils? A. Decrease in blood circulatory diseases. The primary benefit of omega-3 fatty acids found in fish oils is to decrease blood circulatory diseases. Which part of the fish is particularly rich in vitamins A, D3, and B3? A. Skin, B. Guts, a liver, C. Myotomes, D. Myocomata. Which part of the fish is particularly rich in vitamins A, D3, and B3? B. Guts or liver. Guts or a liver is the part of the fish that is particularly rich in vitamins A, D3, and B3. 
Water mineral is abundantly found in marine aquatic products like fish and seaweeds. A. Iodine, B. Fluorine, C. Selenium, D. Sodium. What mineral is abundantly found in marine aquatic products like fish and seaweeds? A. Iodine. Iodine is the mineral abundantly found in marine aquatic products like fish and seaweeds. What is the mineral that plays a role in preventing heart disease and possibly cancer? A. Iodine, B. Fluorine, C. Selenium, D. Sodium. What is the mineral that plays a role in preventing heart disease and possibly cancer? C. Selenium. Selenium is the mineral that plays a role in preventing heart disease and possibly cancer. What is the primary function of taurine, a sulfonic amino acid found in fish? A. Decrease total cholesterol levels. B. Promote brain development. C. Assist in muscle growth. D. Aid in tooth cavity prevention. What is the primary function of taurine, a sulfonic amino acid found in fish? B. Promote brain development. The primary function of taurine, a sulfonic amino acid found in fish, is to promote brain development. What is the approximate range of water or moisture content in fish? A. 10 to 25 percent. B. 25 to 40 percent. C. 50 to 66 percent. D. 66 to 81 percent. What is the approximate range of water or moisture content in fish? D. 66 to 81 percent. The approximate range of water or moisture content in fish is 66 to 81 percent. Which nutrient is relatively low in fish compared to pork, beef, and chicken meats? A. Proteins. B. Carbohydrates. C. Lipids. D. Minerals. Which nutrient is relatively low in fish compared to pork, beef, and chicken meats? C. Lipids. Lipid is relatively low in fish compared to pork, beef, and chicken meats. What is the primary component of myocomata? A. Amino acids. B. Connective tissue. C. Collagen. D. Fat. What is the primary component of myocomata? B. Connective tissue. What happens to the myocomata when cooked? A. They gelatinize. B. They break down into amino acids. C. They become more elastic. D. They turn into fat. What happens to the myocomata when cooked? A. They gelatinize. The myocomata when cooked gelatinizes. Which type of fish is likely to have a higher percentage of dark muscle? A. Demersal fish. B. Pelagic fish. C. Tropical fish. D. White fish. Which type of fish is likely to have a higher percentage of dark muscle? B. Pelagic fish. What is the primary role of collagen in fish muscles? A. Enhance muscle contraction. B. Provide energy for muscle cells. C. Support and connect muscle tissues. D. Store essential amino acids. What is the primary role of collagen in fish muscles? C. Support and connect muscle tissues. The primary role of collagen in fish muscles is to support and connect muscle tissues. Which vitamin is found in higher amounts in the skin of fish? A. Vitamin A. B. Vitamin B1. C. Vitamin B2. D. Vitamin D3. Which vitamin is found in higher amounts in the skin of fish? A. Vitamin A. Vitamin A is found in higher amounts in the skin of fish. What is the chemical composition difference between dark and light muscles in fish? A. Dark muscle has higher, lipid, le, higher levels of lipids, hemoglobin, and most vitamins. B. Light muscle has higher levels of lipids, hemoglobin, and most vitamins. C. Dark muscle has higher levels of proteins and collagen. D. Light muscle has higher levels of proteins and collagen.
what is the chemical composition difference between dark and light muscles in fish? Dark muscle has higher levels of lipids, hemoglobin, and most vitamins. What is the characteristic difference between fish lipids and mammalian lipids? A. Fish lipids contain more saturated fatty acids. B. Fish lipids have longer carbon chains. C. Fish lipids have fewer double bonds. D. Fish lipids contain more monounsaturated fatty acids. What is the characteristic difference between fish lipids and mammalian lipids? B. Fish lipids have longer carbon chains. What is the function of the mitoms in fish? A. Continuous motion. B. Sprinting movements. C. Protection against predators. D. Digestion of food. What is the function of the mitoms in fish? A. Continuous motion. Which type of fish is classified as white fish? A. Fish with dark muscle. B. Fish with red muscle. C. Fish with high collagen content. D. Fish with negligible amounts of red muscle. Which type of fish is classified as white fish? D. Fish with negligible amounts of red muscle. What is the primary reason why fish softens faster than red meat during cooking? A. Higher collagen content. B. Presence of myocomata. C. Lower fat content. D. Fish oils and omega-3 fatty acids. What is the primary reason why fish softens faster than red meat during cooking? A. Higher collagen content. The primary reason why fish softens faster than red meat during cooking is higher collagen content. That's all.